in terms of household chores, I, I, I'm not being... Uh, uh, this isn't sort of martyrdom syndrome. I would happily do everything in our house. I don't care. I will, I will do all the chores because I don't care because I'm too old now to have a rotor. You can't have rotors at 30. You can't have those conversations. Ah, oh, there's a yellow sticker, so you've got to wash the bath mat. <laughs> I'd rather top myself. So if the bath mat needs washing, I just wash it. I don't care. I just wash the bath mat. And then people don't notice when you wash their bath mat. They just get out of the shower and they go, oh, that's white. I thought it was brown. <laughs> we don't discuss this. We don't say, yeah, do you know what? It was brown yesterday because it was matted with your pubic hair. That's fine. <laughs> do you remember you came downstairs and you thought you'd put your slippers on? You hadn't. <laughs> That's just a little visual clue for me. It's time to wash the bath mat, right? I don't care. I happily do everything. I don't care. But you can't do everything. When you live with someone, you can't do everything because they, you know, they do stuff. My housemates eat food, right? I think it's how they stay alive. I'm onto them. <laughs> I'm watching them. But they eat food, so they need to understand things like how to deal with waste. So they need to know about things like recycling. And recycling's another one where I haven't told them everything about the recycling. It just would have taken too long. I just can't be able to have that full conversation. Um, you know when you finish your cereal? Um, can you take the little plastic bag out of the top? Because we don't want to do that yet. Just put that on the side, just put that on the side. And then have a look in. If there's any little Cheerios in the box, just tip them in the bin like that. <laughs> because we don't want the Cheerios to go in the recycling box because then it rained and they get wet and they go mouldy and we've got a horrible box. <laughs> um, you know you've opened the top of the cereal box. Can you open the bottom the same way and then twist it like that? <laughs> It's gone all flat now, isn't it? No theory in there, no. And then foldy, 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 foldy. <laughs> it's like a little envelope now, isn't it? small, isn't it small? Come to the green box over here. Come, come, quickly, follow, follow. <laughs> yeah, put the little thing in the corner like that and, and wedge it in the corner with a wine buckle because otherwise it spreads out again. <laughs> all the work we did over there was ruined. Um, so I jam it against the corner, because that's where we keep the terrier back tied in the newspaper, and that's where we put the wine bucker, and that's where we put the bean tin and the jam jar. And then you pick it up every other Wednesday. Not every Wednesday. <laughs> no, because they don't come every Wednesday, see? So I take the box into the garden. Follow, come, come. <laughs> take the box into the garden, and you put it next to the big black box. That what happened. I didn't say any of that because I didn't think they would understand. <laughs> uh, it's not fair on them, really, is it? <laughs> Why are you talking like that, John? I think I've had a breakdown. <laughs> I think I've gone mad. All I said, to keep it nice and simple, all I said is, um, oh, you know when you've had your cereal, can you just pop the box on the windowsill and it gets recycled by the fairy? <laughs> That's all I said. It's not a nickname I'm happy with, but it seems to have stuck. <laughs> I don't want to buy a bigger dressing gown. I like the one I've got. Um, that's all I said. Now, the cupboard for the cereals is here, and the windowsill's here, right? So it's... Every now and again, I'll come back in from a gig. Might be tonight. I flick the bin lid open. Oh. Hello, Mr. Cereal Box. <laughs> How the fuck are you getting there? It's further away. They have to go on a little Arctic voyage with it. Yeah. Right? And now my first reaction when I see that is to think, oh, my God, they hate me. That's a little protest, that is. Now, put it in there so he knows we think he's a dick. <laughs> the council wouldn't have a little green box like that. He's brought that with him. That's his little game. <laughs> and I ain't playing it, right? And then I think, oh, no, it's not that they hate me. No, they don't hate me. They're just... They're, they're happier than me because they're just... When they poured their cereal out, their first thought is, oh, I've got to eat it or my Golden Grahams will go all soggy, right? And then they skip away and eat their Golden Grahams, so they just don't give a shit. And it's my fault that I really care, but I just think, oh, they might as well, if they don't appreciate the recycling, just drop their pants, get up on the worktop and drag themselves across it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like. Just spell out, piss off back to Swindon in shit. <laughs> But then we'll be together and I'll realise, of course, you, you don't hate each other, do you? They don't hate me. Because when they do clean stuff, they do it in front of me, so I get to see. <laughs> so I'm there to award the points, you see? Because if it's an away game, I don't bother. I just think, oh, that cop must have leapt back into the cupboard by itself and cleaned itself, right? So they wait till I'm watching TV, something to relax me like you've been framed. Just the many pains of strangers. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> an old lady, she may have broken a bone. <laughs> <laughs> And then we'll all be sat together and one of them will go, ooh, I'm going to do the washing up. And I'll be this gif and I have to watch them and I think, yeah, so am I. Five minutes after you think you do. <laughs> and I 
I'd rather they didn't bother because I could just watch them doing it. It's like watching someone make love to my wife, but badly. <laughs> just, uh, you're not even damn going to have to do this again in a minute. It's got all your grubby prints all over it. But they look so happy when they do it. They look me in the eye and they go, hey, look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing. Go, yeah, I can see what you're doing. You're doing a baking tray when there's still wine glasses. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> but it's another one of those, I, I really know it doesn't really matter. I don't want to hear those words coming out of my face. You know when you're washing a baking tray? I just have to watch them do it. And I try and do it subtly, right? I try and get round it sometimes. I'll be having a glass of wine the next day and I'll just go, oh, this um, Sauvignon Blanc's a bit pork and leaky. <laughs> it's just me throwing out breadcrumbs so they can follow him back and go, he said his wine tasted like pork and leeks, but then it was me that had pork and leek sausages. But I washed my baking tray. <laughs> but then I washed the wine tray. <laughs> oh, I love being in a gig where people whoop stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, edgy comedians laying it down about the washing up. <laughs> what have you got on Syria? Nothing. I mainly deal in the kitchen. <laughs> But I say stuff like that, I say, oh, this tastes a bit pork and leaky, and they just go, oh, don't buy that one again. <laughs> 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 they didn't do it, you did it. <laughs> they didn't buy it because I read the label and it had hints of grapefruit, citrus, pork and fucking leek. <laughs> do you know what this goes well with? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> but I know they don't care, I have to just remind myself, but some are so hard to let go. I can just about do the baking tray stuff, there's some where, say we're here at the sink, right? We're doing the washing up. I don't know why we're squatting. <laughs> we're doing the washing up at the sink, right? Here, I've put a little thing, right? It's just, it's like a big bean tin. It's a metal thing, it's got holes in it, right? So when you wash the cutlery, you just pop it in this thing and all the water pisses off out of the hole. So you've got a big thing of dry cutlery, it's all together, and then you carry it over to the cutlery drawer, right? I watch them reach past this thing. They can see it, it's there, it's there. They would have to be blind in this eye and looking that way to not see it. <laughs> they reach past it so they can lay the cutlery flat on the drainer. And I mean all the cutlery, including teaspoons. And not that way around. <laughs> so that a little pool of shitty water trickles down, picking up little bits of onion and Cheerios so it looks like it's already got soup in it. Oh, I don't understand how you do that, it's right there. But then even when they do use this thing, they wander over to the cutlery. Now all I ask, you take it over to the cutlery drawer, you open the cutlery drawer, just pop it away however you like. As long as it's forks on the left, knives in the middle, spoons on the right. <laughs> Teaspoons on the bottom, facing to the left, steak knives on the far left. <laughs> steak knives are lovely. Lovely, sexy, sleek black handles. Lovely long serrated edge, like a lady's figure. <laughs> sexy old steak knives, right? They'll put some of them away like that, and then they think, I'm bored of this. I'm going to put this one away in the knife drawer. <laughs> and then I'm going to put the paring knife in there, as if they look all similar. Paring knife's horrible, fat, stubby little blade like that. Horrible, worn, fat, grey handle on it. Disgusting thing. I think, how oh, have you done that? You were doing it right, and then you willfully did it wrong. And the only solace I get is that that's the one I'm going to kill them with. <laughs> Just gonna creep up to their room at night. Hello! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you now with this steak knife. That's actually a paring knife. So you do know the difference! 